folks, welcome back to Stagey Bookish. My name is Olivia. Today we're going to talk about how awesome it is to be a bookaholic. Yes, we are going to do the happy bookaholic tag. Now this, I found this tag on YouTube um, and I found the version with uh, done by Reading with Jack, also known as Tobes and Travel. So please go look him up, he's awesome. Let me back you up slightly. Um, and it was originally created by About Happy Books, so I'll link all that down below. But really, this is just a tag about why you love being a bookaholic. Now, if anyone knows me, you know I am a ridiculous bookaholic. I am, aren't I? Come on. Um, I have more books than I can possibly read. Oh, my house is full of the things, and it makes me happy. Plus, during the day, I'm a librarian. I work at a college, I work at a school library. Can there be anything happier about being a bookaholic? But yes, so there are 10 questions, well technically 9 questions and a who do you tag. So we'll do that now. I tag anyone watching this video. If you haven't done this, I'll leave the questions down below or a link to the questions down below. Please do it. Let's spread some joy throughout the booktube community this holiday season. So let's start off. Number one, what do you love about buying new books? Books to me are always this magical kind of thing you can hold in your hands something that can make you feel something that can take you to other places something that can take you to the highest of highs and the lowest of lows and that to me is something nothing else will do some films will do it but consistently that is what books are for me they are magic and they make me feel happy and they make me, my heart feel warm and fuzzy so that is what i like reading about new books how often do you buy new books question two probably more often than i should <laughs> like I said, I have lots in my house. Um, I bought a lot of new books recently. Um, I, I want to read them all. It's just I want to read them all at the same time, and that's not possible. Um, but I've got to try and be good. Uh, you know, I'm filming this at the end of November. It's coming up to December soon. I've got to buy Christmas presents for my family, so I'm going to try and not buy any books before Christmas, from the first of December till Christmas. Oh God, I've said it out live now. That means I've got to stick to it, doesn't it? Oh damn, I'm only saying up till Christmas because after Christmas, Christmas sales, I'm possibly getting book vouchers for Christmas. Can't hold a girl down. You can't hold a girl down and back. Uh, question three, bookstore or online book shopping, which do you prefer? If I can, I do it in a bookstore because it's just that ambiance, just that atmosphere. I will sometimes go into bookstores just for a look around and then walk straight back out again because it just it just warms my heart i also do this with the disney store but that's a whole nother story for a whole nother video um but i always try and do it in person if i can at a bookstore I, yes i do get the majority of my books online because work and getting them delivered and i can't always get out to the bookstores but when i can bookstores all the way um question four do you have a favorite bookstore um i don't have a favorite bookstore i have the ones that i use the most um the ones I use the most here in Birmingham, UK, um, I use Waterstones, which is in Birmingham City Centre, which is like a four floor behemoth of a bookstore. Uh, and I also use Foils, which is in a place here called Grand Central, particularly because my girl Jamie Lee works there. Hi, Jamie Lee, if you're watching. Um, and I love those two. Me and Jamie, we always discuss books when she should be working in it. It's just funny ways we are. Um, as far as a favourite bookstore, the only one that kind of is a bit unique that call it a favourite, I always go from down there, we're in London, um, kind of in amongst all the back streets going from Leicester Square up to Covent Garden, there's a little water stone, but it's in this tiny place that's all kind of, that it's not kind of a square space, it's all kind of round nooks and crannies and kind of under alcoves and upstairs and stuff, and it's really, it's really, really cute, and I've never seen a bookstore set out like before, so yes, I guess those are my favourite bookstores really. Uh, number five, do you pre-order books? Yes. I've already got most of my pre-orders in for 2020 of books that I'm aware of. It's nice, I get home and it's like a treat to myself. It's like a whole to totally treat to myself. Um, number six, do you have a monthly book buying limit? No. Should I have a monthly book buying limit? Yes. Um, I think, you know, kind of, I've tried to slow down the second half of the year and kind of, I've said, you know, I went through a period where it was, I'm only going to get books off, I'm pre-ordered, any. I'm not going to buy anything like new, like off the cuff, I'm just going to focus on what I've pre-ordered. That didn't last very long. Um, and then I was like, I'm just going to stick with pre-orders or like I get some book subscription boxes, which you'll know because you've seen videos on this channel. Um, that didn't last. So yeah, I've really got to look at it in the new year. Like, 
I've got a house now. I've got an apple and it's very, very boring the thought. Uh, number seven, book buying bans. Are they something for you? Yes, if I commit to them. Um, I think we've kind of gained a sense in this video that I have I have the eternal struggle of buying more books than I can possibly house or read at the same time. Um, they should be good to me. Are they good to me? No. <laughs> um, number eight, how big is your, your wish list? Um, my Amazon wish list isn't too bad. It's my, I've gone on Amazon, I've got like a general wish list, which is like stuff that's out now. Um, or like there's a few DVDs on there and there's a few just kind of non-bookish things. Um, but I have another wish list on Amazon, which is called the Coming Soon wish list, which is all like anything that I've seen that I like the look of that's on pre-order. So essentially now from where we are in the year that's out in 2020. Um, and it just kind of grows and grows and grows and grows. So the, the coming soon wish list is huge. The actual wish list is not so bad because I went through it recently and updated it. So it's not too bad, she says. Um, and final question before we go on to, you know, I talked about question 10 is whom do you tag? I tag all of you, do this video, it's really cool. Um, but question nine, which three book books from your wish list or pre-orders would you like to own now? Oh, okay. Hmm. I'm filming this. Um, like I said, at the end of November, Children of Virtue and Vengeance by Tomi Adeyemi is out in, uh, in a couple of weeks, which is unreal. Um, that's just the start of December, which is the follow up to Children of Blood and Bone, one of my favourite books of this year that I read. Um, next week, uh, The Gentleman's Guide to Getting Lucky by Mackenzie Lee, also part of the kind of world of one of my favourite book series of this year, like Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue, which has just been announced for HBO. Get in, because we need that in the UK right now. Um, what else? Let's think of a pre-order for next year. There's another um, Gentleman's Guide book. And the name escapes me. That's really bad. Something about Scandrel's Guide. Um, but then there's also one out. I think it's out in May. I can't remember who it's by. It's called Where Dreams Descend. And apparently it's like a mashup. I think I've heard that it's a mashup of Moulin Rouge and Phantom of the Opera, which like are two of my most favourite things in the entire world. And I need that book in my life. Like yesterday. Because they are my favourite things. I can't remember if it's Moulin Rouge and Phantom, but it's definitely Moulin Rouge. And I'm absolutely here for that. Oh, mm, mm. You like Moulin Rouge? Go and listen to the soundtrack of the musical that's just started on Broadway. Oh, mwah, chef's kiss. Mwah, so, so good. Oh, and question 10, like I said, is who do you tag? So that is the end of this tag video. Um, thank you. Um, for the kind of stream of people I know to start who created this tag and took part in this tag, especially with to uh, reading with Jack, who is now known as Tomes and Travel. He's done a lot of different tags, so I've kind of been very inspired by him to kind of try out some of these tags for myself. So you might see a couple of those over the coming weeks, especially with Christmas not far off. Oh my God, where has this year gone? Um, but as always, it is a pleasure to see you, BookTube. My name has been Olivia, this has been Stagey Bookish, and I, wonderful people, will see you on the next video.